guys i'm doing vocalization okay i'll continue doing vocalization right now it's just that i thought about something and i felt like i want to vlog about this i want to talk to people about this okay my sweater looks funny <laughs> It's like hanging over my neck. Look like my neck goes like this. Self control on food. I feel like that's everyone's, even skinny people like me. I know you guys don't believe it, but us skinny people, we have issues with self control and food because it's delicious. Because it could be for a lot of various reasons. I know a lot of people eat when they're stressed. And it's crazy because I cannot eat if I'm stressed. If I'm stressed, I'm sad, hurt, something. Something happens inside my stomach that I cannot think about food because it just disgusts me. So I eat for joy, for happiness. And I've been doing this intermediate fasting, which means you only eat between certain hours. So I only eat between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. So I only have that eight hour window gap that I eat from. So after 8 p.m. I don't eat. And um, like I said, I eat for happiness. Last night I got home from Malecon feeling all pumped and happy. And I'm like, bro, you were falling asleep at the club. You get here and you're awake. Like you don't even make sense. See how a lot of things are mental. And I'm like, I'm having my own party right now. And no one's invited. And I'm going to watch a movie by myself. And I'm going to grub and I'm going to eat. And let me tell you what I ate. I bought these unique walnuts with lime and chili. Never heard of that. So I thought they were going to be cool. They were all right. They weren't like super cool. I And I'm like, oh, I still want more. I still want more. Then I had this vegan butter pecan ice cream. And I'm like, I'm going to eat that. So I have this new invention, guys. I have this honey, this natural honey so good i throw my honey inside of the ice cream and then i have real uh raw almonds unsalted and i throw them into my ice cream and it tastes even more delicious so i ate the whole little ice cream i ate the whole thing guys and then i was like today i'm like Ugh. i woke up like Ugh. and then i'm like did it really change my life did it make me happier did it make me healthier did it make me anything and I'm like, no. So then why don't we have self-control of those moments? Why couldn't I just go to sleep? Or if I wanted to watch a movie, cool. Watch the movie, but I didn't have to atascarme with that, especially eating the whole ice cream. And so I thought about that. And then I was like, maybe that's a solution. Because I've been trying to find solutions of how to have self-control. Other than speaking to Jesus at the moment so he can help you, right? Because sometimes you forget about that. So then I'm like, what can help me with self-control? Well, what about that? Think about, especially if you're like obese or especially if you're going through illnesses because of your weight, you have diabetes. Like, think about all those moments you keep messing up. Was there any moment that made you so extra happy that you have it in your heart, that you feel that it continues to be worth to keep doing that? If you start thinking about it, you're going to realize that no moment made you happier or better or healthier or anything. Actually, you're, it's doing the contrary, right? Because then you feel guilty. You feel ashamed. You feel bad. You're like, I'm better than that. So see, we need to focus on those feelings and realize I didn't have to have all that and overdo it. Why didn't I just have half of the ice cream? I had to have all of it? Like, come on. So, um... Yeah, my stomach hurts today. <laughs> so that's my point, guys. I messed up in eating out of my hours from intermediate fasting. It's okay to eat out of my hours. But overeating and overdoing it where it hurts your stomach and you're like mixing things that don't even go together. So making your stomach even hurt more. Like I was having crazy dreams last night. I'm pretty sure because of everything I ate. So, um... Yeah, hopefully that's going to help me have a little bit more self-control. Because definitely that's been my little battle. And um, it's not worth it. We're better than that, guys. We need to take care of our health. And 
just wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe it helps. Maybe it does something for you. And of course, I have to remember Jesus and talk to Jesus. And again, it's okay to do it, but don't overeat. Don't overdo it. That's a problem right there. Let me know what you think. Drop your comment below. Miss Lala. Arriba la vida. Love you.